hello everybody thank you for joining me in today's video i'm going to show you how to clone a vm using vmware's exsi so i don't have vcenter or anything like that so this would be you know for individuals that don't have you know the the enterprise version of vmware with vcenter connected so i'm using vmware personal and in fact let me log in and show you so So you can see I just type in my credential, I'm going to hit login. Now that I logged in, this is a little summary of what version of you know, VMware ESXi I'm running, the 7.0 and update 3. So I'm not connected to vCenter at all, which is fine. And basically my server has been up just recently and this is the hardware I'm running on my host, Lenovo 30A, and then I'll have this specs on the Lenovo server, and I have this much memory, so I have pretty good resources, although the server is not that fast, so I'm happy with it, the performance is very good, I put in two brand new SSD on it, so just to make sure it's pretty fast, especially on the databases, which is over here, so now that we have this what we need to do is go ahead and and look into the virtual machine area and begin cloning it so i already did some over here but i'm going to do another clone so for the purpose of this lab i'm going to rename this to something else so it's easier to not get mixed up on it so i'm going to be cloning this machine again to another one so vmw windows 10 dash clone again so we're gonna make another one so now that before we make it just to show you what the machine is looks like if i go ahead and uh, right now you can see the machine is off and to turn it back on we simply hit the play button over here and that will start the machine it's running windows 10 So you can see it's low, it's loading. It's gonna go into the out of box experience because I haven't fully finished configuring it. And I'm going to be doing provisioning using Windows Autopilot. So I'm not gonna be doing standard setup. That's why I left it at this screen. So now that we have the machine at the state we want to, we wanna clone it. So that way we have multiple machines that are ready for Autopilot. So if you wanna see more about Autopilot, you know i'll post a video about it later on so now i'm gonna go ahead to be able to clone a machine you have to make sure the machine is in the power off state because you're going to be also cloning the copying the vhd and whatnot so you want to make sure that it's not you know shunned on otherwise it won't work correctly so we're going to hit you know go to action menu click on power and power off hit yes now that we turn it off that machine, we're going to hit close on the action menu. Now we're ready to go to the database. So we're going to click on the storage. And we have a couple options over here. But we're just going to go to browse database over here. And then here, you know, I have two storage. One is my primary. One is my secondary. This one is where I create a bunch of VMs, as you can see. And this one is where I have my ISO and a couple of VMs. I'm going to delete this one just to make space right now. I don't actually need to install that at the moment. So what I'm going to do is my VM lives over here and my clone one lives over here. So I'm going to rename this one again. Actually, we can leave it that one as it is. So that's fine. So, so that's the clone one. This is the main one. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to just call this new one the clone 2. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, we're going to click here again. And then we're going to clear the directory. So click create directory. And then we're going to name it VMW. So 
So we're going to call this vmw-win10-clone2 just to make it easier so we don't get mixed up. So we have that. Now that we created a directory, we need to clone it. So to clone it, to clone the old the new the old machine or the actual good machine. So we're going to click on vmw win10, the main one. We're going to select the vmx file. We're going to copy it. And then it's going to tell us where do we want to copy this to. We're going to copy it to vmw win10 clone2. And then we need to select the vmdk, which is like essentially the vhd file. We're going to select this. And then we're going to copy. And then we're going to put it over here. Again, the clone2. So essentially, when you look at your clone2 and uh, the vm vmw win10 the original one this two files should exist vmx and vmdk should exist nothing else you need to clone or copy those are the two files that are important to making sure that the machine is cloned successfully so if you click here we have the two important files in our clone and we copied it we're not done though now we're going to close this out we're going to come to the virtual machine area and we're going to create an slash register a machine and then we have the option to go ahead and actually you know do the following so let me see if i can zoom in for you just to see so you have the option to go ahead and actually do the following over here like a create a virtual machine from scratch deploy from ovf or ova file or register an existing machine so that's what we have so for this i'm going to do register an existing machine because we don't want to create a fresh machine we don't want to we don't have an ovf or ova file we do have a existing VD, vmdx file we just want to use that from. So we're going to hit register an existing machine, virtual machine. And then we're going to select select one or more virtual machine, a database or a directory. Select that. And then we're going to select our clone 2. And then select VMX. And we're going to select that. And we're going to hit select. And then we're going to hit next. And then we are we don't want we don't change anything here and then finish. So that's how we clone the machine. Now we need to see if this actually works. So we're gonna you know go ahead and uh, this is the new one we just copied it. You can see it doesn't have any you know data used or anything like that. So we're gonna rename immediately to make it easier for us to read to clone to or whatever name you prefer and then we're gonna click on and then hit the play button to get started and now we have the option to answer it we have to answer whether we move the machine or we copy it in this case it's selected by default that we copied it we that's what we did we're gonna hit you know copy it answer it and then it will go ahead and boot to the screen this is when you're successful in cloning your machine. If you haven't done so properly, then you won't be seeing the screen. It will show you a message or whatnot. So, and this is also happens when the machine, the original machine is turned on. And that's why we turned it off to make it easy for us. Now we're ready. We can interact with the machine if we wanted to. But like I said, we're going to do Windows Autopilot deployment on the machine so we don't do anything manual. And so, but that's how you can do it. If you had an, a machine where you configured everything, you would be doing the same process. So this process won't change for machine in out of box experience or machine that's fully configured. It will work the same way. It just means that if you have a full blown machine that's already configured, your v, VMDAK will file, like PhD file, will get bigger 
because you have so much doing an application installed so your cloning obviously is not going to be as quick as what i see what you see with mine so that's the only thing to consider but that's it and here is the a recent event so anything you did you will show up over here so it tells you what we did and if it's completely successful if it fails you'll see here just like your event log information so yeah that's it uh, i hope that this video was very helpful if you did find it helpful please give it a like and share and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe it will help the channel so much thank you